why is it that Ipsy was able to develop these new abilities through Scratch? I think it's because some of the ways that we design Scratch, Scratch is not just the same as any programming language. We thought a lot in developing Scratch how, it, how we could develop a programming language that could help children develop their thinking and develop their voice and develop their identity. And to do that, we designed Scratch based on four guiding principles. So I want to say a little bit about that. In English, the four guiding principles all start with the letter P. It's projects, passion, peers, and play. So as we develop Scratch, we want to make sure that children could use Scratch to make their own projects. Many times when children are introduced to programming, they're just given a problem to solve and they get a right or a wrong answer and they go on to the next problem. And if you do that, you might learn some specific computational uh, concepts. But if you just solve some problems that someone else is giving to you, you're not going to develop your voice. When you develop a project, you learn how to start with an idea and develop it and adapt it and change it and revise it so you can create a project that you can share with others. And we think that approach of learning how to create a project is very important in everything that people do. To learn how to start with that idea and carry it through. As adults, we work on projects all the time. Whether you're a journalist writing an article or a parent creating a birthday project for your children, whatever we do is a type of project. So we want children to grow up with the, the knowing how to work on projects. So that's a one core part of Scratch. We also wanted Scratch to let children work on projects that they were passionate about, they were connected to their interests. Because one thing that we've seen over and over is that people are willing to work longer and harder and persist in the face of challenges when they work on something that they really care about, something that they're passionate about. So with Scratch, we didn't want to have all children work on the same type of project because children have different interests. They all want to work on different types of things. So we made Scratch so you could work, so you, the children could create many different types of things. Stories, games, animations, simulations, interactive newsletters, guided tours. Children create so many different types of projects with Scratch. It was exciting this morning as I saw examples of what children were creating in the EPAM eKids project and in some of the schools through the high-tech park projects. I saw a great variety of things children were working on and that made me feel happy because it, it was an indicator that children would work on things they were passionate about and therefore they'd be willing to work longer and harder and learn more in the process. We also know that it's important to let people interact with peers as part of the learning process, meaning interact with other people. Because most of the best learning we do happens when we're, wor when we're working with other people. I think it's a real mistake that sometimes when, they, when people think about thinking, they imagine that sculpture by the great artist Rodin, the thinker, and the thinker is just sitting by himself. But that's not a very good representation of thinking. I think that sculpture gives us the wrong idea. Most thinking doesn't happen just sitting there by yourself. Most thinking happens in collaboration with others. So we made Scratch so that people could learn with and from others. Scratch was the first programming language that came with an online community. Because we saw from the beginning it was important for children to be able to share their projects with others so they could get encouragement and feedback the way that Ipsy did. Also, with the online community, you can get inspiration from others. You know, every day there are tens of thousands of new projects that are posted to the online community. So there's a constant source of new inspiration. Children can see what other children, or other children have created, and they might remix that project or get an idea for their own project. So we wanted to create Scratch to make it easy for people to work together and to learn with and from one another. Finally, the fourth guiding principle is play. And I sometimes say that play is the most misunderstood of the four Ps. Because sometimes when people hear play, they just think about laughter and having fun. 
And there's nothing wrong with laughter and having fun, but that's not what we mean by play. When we think about play, we mean a type of approach to the world where you're constantly experimenting and trying new things and taking risks. And we think that the best learning happens when you have that playful approach or that playful attitude where you're constantly experimenting, testing the boundaries, and trying new things. So we designed Scratch so it's easy for people to keep on trying new things, experimenting. And there aren't, you know, big, uh, there, it's okay to make mistakes in Scratch. So we made it so that if you make a mistake, you can just take the blocks apart and put them together a new way. It's easy to keep trying new things. So when we run Scratch workshops, we encourage children to experiment, to try things. If something goes wrong, that's not an indication that they don't understand something. It's more of an opportunity to learn something new. So we always try to see mistakes as an opportunity to learn new things. So we design Scratch that way, and we run workshops to encourage children to try new things. It's OK if things go wrong. That's the way we do our own work, that we as we're developing things at our, my lab at MIT, we're constantly experimenting, trying new things, and it's okay when things go wrong, we learn from our mistakes. So as we develop Scratch, we, our goal was really to provide opportunities for children to work on projects based on their passions, in collaboration with peers, in a playful spirit. And I think that's both the reason for Scratch's success and a reason why kids like Scratch so much is because it's based on these four guiding principles. And I think these guiding principles are good principles not just for designing a programming language, but also good educational principles as you're developing lesson plans for your classroom or your workshop. I'd encourage you to develop lesson plans where you're engaging kids and working on projects based on their passions and collaboration with their peers in a playful spirit.